So you guys are here for one reason, and that reason is your gear is nasty, but you want to try and fix it. So today I'm going to show you how I go through my gear and clean it all after every ice time to make sure it is as fresh as possible. I'm also going to show you how to build a DIY drying rack for your nasty ass. There's nothing that I hate more than stepping into cold wet hockey gear. There's so many people that I know personally that get off the ice, throw their gear in their bag, and let it just sit in their car for like a week or two. It's just nasty, I, I don't get it at all. And as a goaltender, I want my focus to be 100% on my game and not how cold, wet, or smelly my gear is. So that's why as soon as my ice time's over and I go home, the first thing that I do is wash my gear. But before I show you how I clean my gear, we gotta get it pretty ripe first. And what better way to do that than to play a game of three on three. So let's go. Whoa! Did you see that? Did you see that, sir? Oh my gosh. I think I give credit to the 3H sharpening on that one. Holy smokes. Uh-oh. Break away. Gotcha. Let's go. Gotcha. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Stick safe. Ooh. Big rush. This looks scary. Oh. Ah! No! Can't see anything! Gotcha! Gotcha again! Better not chip the new stick! Stand tall. We got her. Oh, nice! Nice! Did I get an assist? An assist? I got an assist! Oh my god! Ah! Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Right in the glove. Bit faster than that. I'm like Lightning McQueen out here. Ka-chow! Break away! Ah, oh, gotcha! Oh, that's all right. Another stellar save, let's go. <laughs> Not my fault. Ah, I tripped! Ah, I still made the save. It is so hot in here. Oh, ah, oh my god! <laughs> you got it, you got it. I got it? Oh, good. Before the GoPro dies, we will transition to my house. So when I get off the ice, I like to do two loads of laundry. And in the first load, I got jersey, sweatband from the helmet, skate socks, and hockey socks. So now we're gonna head over to the machine here. Then I use cold water. I have a small load. And then I go to normal. That was an awkward twist of the hand there. Puller. Let some water get in there. Take your laundry detergent. Pour a fair bit in there. And once you hear the water get a bit high, throw in the soap. And the cap. Let her go again for a little bit. And then evenly spread out your laundry best you can. Now all you got to do is set a timer for 40 minutes and she'll be done. Did I forget my Under Armour? I forgot my Under Armour. Oh, don't be too late. Come on. Ah, we'll make it work. There we go, boys. Step two, make sure you got everything that's supposed to go in the laundry machine. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. Now that the first load is done, all we gotta do now is hang her up. Items like the sweatband, I leave it on top of the dryer with a towel. And for the gear that can't go in the wash, I use a spray. Make sure to spray down your gear while the gear is still wet for best results. I got this spray at Canadian Tire, I'll try and find a link and throw it in the description if you're interested. 
I'd also like to mention that I bring my hockey gear to a sandy station twice a year. Once just before Christmas, and once just after my spring season has ended. You could always ask your local hockey shop if they have a sandy station. And for load 2, not everybody can do this, but if you own Warrior, there's a chance that you might have some removable palms, and that's what we're going to throw in the wash right now. So we're going to do the same settings as before. We're going to go to normal. Let her go. Take some detergent. Fair bit because gloves stink. Pour her around. Throw the cap back in. It's an old trick that I learned. Cleans it out entirely. Let her fill up some more. Toss your palms in. Then wait another 40 minutes for that load to be done, and then hang dry. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to build a DIY drying rack out of PVC pipes. So for the drying rack, you're going to need two 10-foot PVC pipes, and you'll need to cut them to five 9-inch pieces, two 12-inch pieces, one 30-inch piece, two 7-inch pieces, two 30 and a half inch pieces, and four 16-inch pieces. You will also need two 90 degree elbows, five T's, and one cross. We're gonna start with the legs. So take two of your 16 inch PVC and attach it to your first T. Next, take your 30 and a half inch PVC, your seven inch PVC, and a T, and put those together. Then take those two pieces you built and attach them together. Make sure the 30 and a half inch piece of PVC is on the bottom. Repeat these two steps to build your other leg. Now we're going to connect the legs together. Grab two 9 inch pieces as well as a T and connect them. Then take that piece that you just built and attach it to the legs and make sure that the T is pointing up. Next, grab your 30 inch piece, a 9 inch piece, and your cross. For some reason, the cross was really hard to find. I went to like two hardware stores, so that's why I'm flexing it real hard right now. But anyways, put those together and attach it to the T that is pointing up. Now we've reached the top of the rack, and all there's left to do is attach your 12 inch piece and your 9 inch piece with a 90 degree elbow. Repeat this step for the other side. And now, if I haven't screwed you up with my terrible math and measuring skills, your rack should look like this. All there's left to do now is throw your gear on and let it dry. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you apply something from this video to your own gear to make sure it is as clean and as fresh as possible. So you also get the approval of your husband, your wife, your mom, your dad, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your dog, your cat, your chinchilla, whoever, because I'm sure they're complaining that your gear stinks and they appreciate you watching this video. Also, subscribe for more goalie content. I'm Nick the Goalie, thanks for watching.